Did you know? All those Catalpa Sphinx moth caterpillars, what are commonly called Catalpa worms, chewing on the leaves sets an interesting food chain into motion. Catalpa trees have extra floral nectaries on the lower surface of the leaves, places where nectar is produced without flowers, and are the reason you can often hear honeybees buzzing on Catalpas in the heat of summer. When the caterpillars commence their attack on the leaves, the nectaries near the damaged areas start producing more nectar. That nectar in turn attracts insects beneficial to the catalpa's cause, mainly ants and parasitoid wasp, which will help deal with the caterpillar attackers. The parasitoid wasp come to the nectar and then lay their eggs on the numerous catalpa worms, which when they hatch will produce a larva that will consume the catalpa worm alive. Super awesome for us nature nerds, not so much for the catalpa worm. Birds do not eat many catalpa worms as they taste bad, plus they have a regurgitation defense mechanism, which makes them taste even worse. The yellow-billed cuckoo, a caterpillar specialist, doesn't care and eats them anyway. Interestingly, some trees seem to never have catalpa worms and others are covered with them every year.